This unit hurt me on an emotional level. Valentine's Day Miranda, or just any Miranda in general, is one of my favorite characters in Grand Summoners. Something about these movies and shows and games that just kill off these characters I like just make me like them just a little bit more. Wait, is this a trauma bond? Valentine's Day Miranda is the newest Miranda we have in the game. Actually, the second version of Miranda, and she is an ascended character. Whenever I first saw this unit way back then, whenever she first debuted in JP, I was like, this character seems absolutely insane with the amount of physical this down you can apply on the enemy plus the poison all that it just seems mm, so good well she came out and i quickly realized no she's she's just not good but before we get into all that let's really break her down miranda has a few passives one of them is really the only good one that kind of goes with her kit which is the increased damage against poison enemies if you poison pretty sizable damage buff here in terms of the kit she's a little bit self-sufficient with her skill being able to give her seven arts per second for six seconds while also killing the entire team by a thousand we have an art that's able to reduce the enemy's status resistance. We have a true art that's able to inflict poison and causes all allies to ignore defense for 25 seconds. Super art, 144,000% multiplier here. You reduce the enemy's physical res by 80% no matter what. However, if the enemy is poisoned when the super art is used, you reduce the enemy's physical res by 160% instead. In terms of her equip slot, she has a 5 star physical, 5 star magic, and a 4 star defense. If you take her all the way up to LB7, she will instead be having a 4 star support in this 4 star defense slot. In the physical slot, I recommend going for something that is going to be giving you art gauge and sustain specifically um if you're nuking you know also go with something that's like a burst archgen item or going with a poison equip or poison resist down equip with the five star magic kind of the same deal here you're looking at stuff with archgen so uh victor's katsu exceed zex stuff like that or opting in for another poison resist down equip or a poison equip for the four star defense this is really just going to be whatever you're fighting if you're nuking though always rocking out with relic dola armor will be great for you unfortunately uh barrett didn't send any animation Oh, I forgot to mention Barrett is the one who's going to be helping us with this showcase. And the very first thing I wanted to do with Valentine's Day Miranda was show off her nuking potential. Since this character is really only a nuking unit, I don't see her being used in sustain at all. Even if you are looking for someone that is a poison unit just for your sustain team, I'm going to be honest, you might be better off with Groits. And that really says something. If I'm telling you, you should use Groits over Miranda. In terms of the team comp we went with for the nuke, we actually use Draken, Forte, War God Finn, and Valentine's Day Miranda. On the boss floor, we just pop off with all of our equips. We make sure we can try to get a poison off if we can, and then we're going to use Valentine's Day Miranda with Draken and everybody else, and then actually apply a lot of physical res down onto the enemy. Now, one thing to take note of is that conditional physical res down from uh, Miranda, the additional 80% physical res down, that will stack with all unconditional physical res down debuffs in the game since it's a conditional effect that's one of the reasons why this miranda has some really good usability in certain nuke compositions since you can just apply so much physical res down onto a singular enemy of course her animation is quite lengthy because if you saw it did take a minute before she actually afflicted the physical res down on the boss it took about like a second or two but once it got afflicted the boss's hp bar just got absolutely deleted if we were using war god finn super art and not his true art in this he would have dealt ridiculous amounts of damage talking about damage look at the damage charts here as you see with miranda 3.2 million not too bad on this crest next day we took her up against was the same boss but this time against the special ex on the shang or law stage which this one was a very scuffed nuke i'm just gonna tell you right now but yeah this kind of performed the exact same way we try to get a poison off um however i just now realized that while i'm recording this back we didn't get a poison off because um i made the grand decision of taking off a poison equip. I don't know why, but I think whenever I was recording this, I actually assumed that Miranda poisoned on her super arm. That's great. That's great. Either way, this is the extent of her power. She doesn't go beyond this. This is all you can really expect from Miranda, is that if you can get a poison off, you can lower your physical res by a ridiculous amount and deal crazy amounts of DPS to whatever you're fighting. However, if you cannot poison the enemy, she is just so, so lackluster and just so bad. Nothing in her kit benefits you necessarily if you can't poison. The skill is the best thing in the kit if you can't poison. Well, I guess you could also say the true art because it does give you defense ignore, but nothing else. She has no arch in the kit, no type of supporting capabilities, nothing to help benefit the team beyond the fact that she's just reducing the enemy's physical res, and that's practically it. Just the amount of teams and just the amount of 
extra stress and workaround you have to go through to make this character work is so annoying. And another thing is to uh, poison in 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, Yuzu, no poison, 200% physical res down. Granted, conditional can stack with this one, but this Miranda's late to the party. Just because she has that one benefit of conditional physical res down so it can stack with other characters, who cares, bro? It's 80%. Uh, you can get 80% nowadays with practically anything. I think if you use Wabi Sabi gems on a god, you get 80% physical res down. It's just this character came out and if this character would have came out about two years ago as an Awoken character, absolutely insane, right? One of the craziest characters we would have ever seen just because of the amount of damage she would have enabled for multiple different characters. However, now, not so much. We have so many ways to buff up damage in the game that having this unit seems just kind of like a waste and especially considering the fact what is happening right now in grand summoners global going for this character is such a waste of currency if this was more so just a filler banner you know in between like whatever that wouldn't really have mattered but the fact that she came out and she's in between star god lisa and freaking shangri-la who at next ninja was like you know what let us cook we're gonna release valentine's day miranda you've seen what happens when she cooks we are starving boys so yeah all in all this miranda is quite easily one of the worst ascended characters in the game if we were going to rate her on a tier list i would say this character is not pushing past a tier and if she was an a tier i'm talking about very bottom of the barrel possibly a b tier character if you need her for poison she gets exponentially better but if you don't need any type of poison on the team she's practically useless so miranda's pretty bad still love her though you know definitely still one of my favorite characters next time yama p I need you to make Miranda actually good, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna say, right, you know what? Hold on, where, where is it at? I haven't done this in a while. Where, where the fuck my gun at? There it is. She better be good. Thank you all for coming out, though. It's been your boy P. If you enjoyed this video, highly recommend you to check out either one of the other videos popping on the screen right now. Great content, guarantee you love them. Oh, and one more thing before you leave. Don't forget to drink water.